Never. You'll be buzzing all week from Game Show Network's Sunday Night Buzz. First is Lingo, then Chuck Woolery Naturally Stone, GSN's first reality show. Then comics go joke to joke on National Lampoon's Funny Money, plus special episodes of Celebrity Cram. Catch a buzz that'll last all week. Sunday Night Buzz beginning June 15th at 9 Eastern only on Game Show Network. Introducing the Barry family, ready for action. And the Taylor family, on your mark. Let's start the Family Feud. <laughs> With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. <laughs> We have a very special feud today. ABC Special Projects versus Caps. Oh, we did that, didn't we? Oh, I'm sorry, I little. I must get a room. This is silly. Well, Cap Cities play ABC. I thought they'd play for the network. With, you know, it was just an idea. <clears throat> well, please let them reconsider about canceling the show. I'll never tell another lie again. I'm ready by the... Are we on? Yes. Ah, good. The Barrys from San Diego is still the thing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. One of the worst dress winners we've had in a long time. It's lucky dressing. Well, I guess it is lucky. How much have you won? We've won 13611 Yeah. <laughs> Very good. You played a great pass money. You did. You played a very good pass. Well, let's meet the uh, gang, right? Well, my sister Patty. Oh, Hi, my darling. My sister Sandy. Sandy. Hi, Richard. My cousin Michelle. Hi, Richard. Shop certainly. And my cousin Terry. Hello, oh, Terry. Hi, Richard. Well, you've done very well. You did a good job. A lot of money. Taylors are here to challenge you. They think you've won enough. <laughs> Give them a welcome. Say hello. Oh, How are you, Randall? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Who you got here? I have my auntie, Iantha, here. Hello, my daughter. Her wow. daughter, Taish. Hello, Richard. Hello, Taish. Her other daughter, Heather. Hi. Hello, Heather. And on the far end, there's my uh, brother-in-law, Wayne. Wayne. Good day. How you doing, Richard? Yeah. What do you do, Randall? I'm a police officer. What city do you work? Pasadena. Pasadena. Right. How long have you been a police officer? About a year now. Enjoy it? I love it. Great. Oh, OK. And Taish, how old are you? 14. And what school did you go to? Monroe Junior High. Say hi to all your friends. <laughs> to all my friends. <laughs> Ready to play? Win some money. That's the idea. We're going to play the feud. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> 100 people survey. Top nine answers on the board. You've got to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something that you forget at home and have to borrow from someone at work. Yeah. Money. Money. You got it, man. Play it fast. This is going to play. Let me do it. Way to start. Very proud of you. Well, we feel hot. Welcome. Thank you. Something you forget at home and you have to borrow from someone at work. A comb. A comb. Forgot my comb. Yeah. 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 How you doing? Fine. You're very pretty. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure to look at you. <laughs> What have you ever forgotten? Pencils. Pardon? Pencils, pens. Pencils? Yeah. Forget yeah. your pencils. How are you doing? Hi. Everything good? Yeah, so far. Well, we haven't done anything yet, have we? <laughs> so far. So just said hello. Something you forget at home you have to borrow from someone. Makeup. Makeup. Make -up. There you go. Oh, yeah. Grab yourself a lucky lollipop here, Wayne. There he goes. <laughs> Hundred dollars for Wayne. Well done. Now, what do you think here, Wester? How about some socks? Socks? <laughs> you 
My producer borrowed sock. <laughs> you think I'm joking? <laughs> Kathy, please, just put your leg out. Show them I'm not joking. <laughs> borrowed her. Yeah, we like it in the lights. Just stick your leg out. Come on. Black socks. They're mine. We have to borrow them. <laughs> But on level with you, Wayne, I still think it's a dumb answer. <laughs> Socks! <laughs> no. Ah. Well, there was living proof. Oh, Kathy's like this now. <laughs> Let's see, um, how about items you work with? Um, Give me an item. Oh, Something that you forget and you have to borrow from someone at work. How about a watch? What? Oh oh I think maybe a card you use to get through the parking lot. Oh, all right, Madonna. Yeah, that's a pass, to get, pass to get in. To get in. Right. Yeah. A parking pass? <laughs> Not there. Eighty-one dollars, five answers left. Umbrella. 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 Well, we have to say an umbrella if it's raining. Well, why would the person who has the umbrella give it to you? I don't know. That's what I was wondering. I mean, that's mine. <laughs> well, so you forgot your umbrella. That's tough. Come to me when it's not raining. You can borrow it any time. Umbrella gets you eighty-one dollars. If not, give it to Randall. Umbrella. You, oh. Oh, I can't believe it. You ever had an umbrella loan you in the rain? Of course not. Well, you don't care. You just love the money. Right. Yeah, I never want them back though. Never. I just say keep them. Don't borrow them. Four. Cigarettes. Seven. Matches. Eight. Perfume. No, but I've got an umbrella with a sock on it you can have. We'll be back right after that. <laughs> yeah, we can see it. Shaking up the world. It was amazing. And covered in this thick, dark stuff. Look, that's it, that's it. No. This had chips. Chips Ahoy cookie bars, stuffed with chocolate cream, drenched in fudge, unlike anything you've ever experienced. They're beyond belief. Bunny on TV is nearly extinct. A good comic is a rare sighting these days. So when we find one, Anybody from Cleveland here tonight? We study it. <laughs> National Lampoon's Funny Money, a new game show premiering June 15th at 10 p.m. 81 to nothing, here we go. <laughs> How are you today? Good. Here we go. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a famous person you'd like to interview if that person were forced to tell the truth. Eddie Murphy. Huh. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> no. Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. All right, you have control. What will you do? Okay. I dread to think the language this darling would hear if she asked Eddie Murphy anything. But famous person you'd like to interview? Barbara Walters. Oh, Barbara. Okay. Yeah, Barbara Walters. <laughs> no, that would be a good reverse. She always does the interview. What would you say? Um, Charles Manson. Charles Manson. Oh, yeah. Charles Manson. Yeah, that's... People groan, but that's good. I mean, these are people normally you don't know whether it's true or not. If they're forced to tell the truth, that's a good answer. Hello. Hi, Richard. It's It's oh. <laughs> okay. I don't want that black no, answer. She does not want it. She likes a 13 grand answer, right? Right. All right. Famous person. Oh, Dan Rather. Don't okay. Dan Rather. <laughs> no. Famous person, Tom, that you'd like to interview if you knew that person would be forced to tell the truth. Mm, um, that to be alive? Pardon? Do that to be alive? I don't really <laughs> care. Really. Someone I've always been, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. Okay. All right. All right. That's there. What did you do? He's there, okay. If not, third strike. Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> no. Ronald 
Ronald Reagan. Ronnie, all right. Ronaldo Zay, you're on the board. The president, Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Three. John Delari. Four. Jeffrey. How many know that? Yeah, that's the Green Beret gentleman who, who was in jail. Remember? And the family got killed. And not a good way to go to a commercial, but if you see a name up there, you didn't know who it was. Uh, Fatal Vision, I think, was the name of the book. Yep. What a fun knowledge I am. We'll be back. Right <laughs> <now. laughs> Shipping to I'm Graham Elwood, host of Cram, the only game where contestants stay up 24 hours cramming answers to our questions. You, however, don't have to lose any sleep to play Cram because you can play Cram Interactive. Just tune into Cram, log on to GameshowNetwork.com, register, and click on the Cram logo. If you're good, you'll see your name on the leaderboard. If you're yeah. lucky, you could win a prize. For rules and registration, go to GameshowNetwork.com. Cram Interactive. Why only watch when you can play, too, with Game Show Network. One hundred people surveyed top six answers on the board. Here's the question. When you were a kid, what was your favorite summertime activity? Swimming. Swimming. Yeah. 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 All right. Kaya's is very nervous and she's a great player. You got nothing to be nervous about. That was a very good <laughs> answer. I'm proud of you. Well, Heather, what was your favorite act summertime activity when you were a kid? Spending time at the beach. Oh, yeah. Going to the beach. Yeah. Another good one. Yeah, okay. How about girl watching? <laughs> oh, I have a feeling he started very early, yeah. Girl watching. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, you're two years old. You stop that. <laughs> <laughs> when you were a kid, what was your favorite summertime activity? How about going to the movies? All right. Going to the movies. <laughs> no, now we got two strikes. Don't want any more. Going to visit Grandma. Ah, OK. If it's there, my love, all right. If not, third strike, visiting Grandma. <laughs> oh, but I love that answer. $75 for unrevealed answer. Yeah. When you were a kid, what was your favorite summertime activity? I like going to the summer camps. Did you? Summer camp gets you a big lead. If not, we even this game up. Summer camp. <laughs> you got an even game now. Do you have anything else? Baseball. Two. I just said to the girl, did you have anything else? That's what they had. Four. Three. Five. Five. Six. Five. Roller skating. 112 to 81. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> 100 people surveyed top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something in the kitchen that people have only one of. A coffee maker. Coffee maker. Is that ever? <laughs> Not there. A refrigerator. Refrigerator? Yeah. I do not understand why that wasn't there of the five. It was a good answer. It was not a dumb answer. Copy maker was a good answer. All right. Of course, you leave me and I walk back alone. <laughs> uh, all right. Sorry. It's all right. Something in the kitchen that people have. Only one home. A stove. Sure. A stove. <laughs> Number one in my card. This is something I live by a toaster. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I live by a garbage dump, but you live by a toaster. A dishwasher. A dishwasher. Yeah. Can opener. One can opener. <laughs> no, that was good, Michelle. Kitchen sink. Sink. Yeah. Look at this game. One seven seven. One twelve. Wayne and Carrie. Here we go. Good luck. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something from which you're always losing buttons. Yes. A blouse. A blouse. 
Player five. We're gonna play. Something from which you're always losing buttons, huh? Trousers. Trousers? Oh. Mm. Don't do that uh, this time. Coat. A coat! Something Todd has nothing on. <laughs> ben. A sweater. A sweater? Um, a vest. Vest! Oh. No. Harry, oh. something from which you're always losing buttons. A skirt. Skirt! <laughs> Not there. Hello. Look at this. $194 dollars you can get. Pants. 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 Always Pants. losing buttons, man. How about pants? Yeah. So we had we had pants, vest, and skirt. Dress. 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 How about dress. A dress. Okay. Dress. You get the money. If not, give it to Todd. Dress. <laughs> you got. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Bathrobe. All I've got is a big wrap around 371, 112. Yeah, come on, Johnny, let's do it. Number three. <laughs> 400 points wins the game. Dollar values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question Name a part of the body that men put cologne on. Yeah. The face. Face! Player pass. Come on. Read it once, three seconds when I get to you. Here we go. Name a part of the body that men put cologne on. Three seconds. Behind please. their ears. Behind their ears? <laughs> no, but thank you for the thought. Three seconds. <laughs> their neck. Their neck. Three seconds. Under their arms. Under their arms. It burns. <laughs> three seconds. Their chest. Chest? <laughs> yeah. Three seconds, Todd. On their um, arms. Their ribs. Yeah. All right. Arms! You got it. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Boxer. You all done? Thank you. Thank you. I know that you were a little nervous, but I hope you had a good time, because you played very well. You really did. I was just telling... Truly, Ties, you play a good game. This is for you and all your friends at school. All yeah, right? for you guys. And <laughs> Wayne has got $100, and I'll make that $250. I'm sorry you didn't win more, but I thank you for we being here. We had a great time. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. I hope you won. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Wayne, be sure to watch. Go play. All righty, here we go. All right, Patty and Todd are going for the money right after we want the best. It's driving me nuts. Take my wife, please. We just found some hot buttered carrots. To get to the other side. Hair lip, hair lip. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? We just passed the tonsils. But your mom is. Because it's got meringue on it. It happened to my sister. I would if I was a woman. Know it. I wrote it. Since National Lampoon's Funny Money is coming to GSN, everybody thinks they're a comedian. National Lampoon's Funny Money, premiering June 15th at 10 p.m. on Game Show Network. That's funny. Come into Sears now for the Extra Extra Sale and save big on items throughout the store. For four days only, when you use your Sears card, you can save extra, even on sale prices. Save an extra 10% on all appliances, tools, electronics, and mowers, tractors, and grills. Plus, save an extra 25% on all swimwear, tees, tanks, and shorts for the family. For four days only, use your Sears card and get extra savings throughout the store. Sale ends Saturday. Sears. Good life. Great price. Ever notice how an old rope can change a quiet pond? That's what the taste of ripe berries does to lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. From Country Time. One pizza, one pizzone. What's a pizzone? The pizzone. It's back at Pizza Hut. Now get any large pizza for your family and get a pizzone of your own for only $2.99. What's a pizzone? It's a big taste in a big folded pizza crust filled with cheese and luscious ingredients like pepperoni or fresh veggies. Everything deliciously sealed inside and baked to perfection. Plus marinara sauce. Just $2.99 when you buy any large pizza at regular price. No one makes the whole family happy like Pizza Hut. So this is a pizzone. 
don't hide from the sun. Get out and have fun with Banana Boat. Get on the boat, the Banana Boat. Our anti-burn system helps prevent skin damage and early aging. So you've got it made in the shade when you're out in the sun. Get on the Banana Boat. Oh. Oh, I hate it when it sticks to your lip. Just... You saw that, didn't you? No. Well, I just I heard had a little, it, though. I had a little drink of a uh, little tissue here. <laughs> and then Kelly pulled it out. <laughs> and took cruel. a part of my top lip with him. Oh. Still, never mind. I'll go on. We're going to win, aren't we? Yes, All I'm right. ready. Please give Patty 15 seconds. Tell me, oh, you'll all like this first question. Tell me how long it takes to find a new job. Three weeks. An animal that's hard to catch. A kangaroo. A magazine you think is too expensive. Uh, Vogue. A month of the basketball season. Uh, January. A fruit that bruises. <clears throat> a fruit that bruises easily. Peaches. Turn around. You didn't like those questions? No. Imagine how we feel. Oh, dear. But I, I'm glad our people took notes here. How long it takes to get a new job? You, you've certainly oh. given us hope. You said three weeks. I'm looking for one. Well, uh, where are you? What are I'm you not doing? Looking yet. What are you doing Monday? <laughs> we'll look with you. Damn it! Oh. An animal that's hard to catch, and when you do, what would you do with it? A kangaroo. Survey! Oh. <laughs> Magazine you think is too expensive. You said Vogue. Survey said six. Month of the basketball season, January. Survey said day. Boot the bruises easily. Peach, Georgia. Survey. Oh. <laughs> I don't yeah. believe it. Right next to Sandy. Here comes Scott. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Scott. Oh. Man of uh, many Krellman's gonna play. Please remind everyone the answers Patty gave us. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Tell me how long it takes to find a new job. Uh, one month. An animal that's hard to catch. Uh, a rabbit. A magazine you think is too expensive. A Playboy. A month of the basketball season. December. A fruit that bruises easily. Bananas. Turn around. Yeah. How long it takes to find a new job? You said a month. Do you speak from experience? Uh, no. Oh. It's the number one answer. That's the reason I asked. Oh, really? Survey said. Yeah. Wait a An animal that's hard to catch. You said a rabbit. Volkswagen, huh? Yeah. Oh, Volkswagen makes it, yeah. <laughs> Rabbit's number one. All right. Number two is Scirocco. Scirocco. All right! <laughs> Magazine you think is too expensive. You said Playboy. Do what Gene does. <laughs> you go to the dentist, you read them. <laughs> they're, they're about five, six years old, but you know, that way you don't get involved. Number one answer. Survey! Yeah. Month of the basketball season, January was number one. You said December. We need 23 points. Survey said 12. Did you hear that noise? They just dropped my option. A fruit that bruises easily. Peach was number one. You said dill banana. Worth 11 points, $5,000. Survey said Yes! Our next show is sponsored by Orange Clean. It's the kind of clean you can feel good about. Orange Clean, the original. Hey, I may not be orange, but at least I'm clean. Whoa. Sponsored by Orange Clean. It's the kind of clean you can feel good about. Orange Clean, the original. 
No one having reason to say why these two should oh, not be joined. You call that clean? <laughs> Didn't your mother ever teach you about OxyClean? It's the stain specialist. And that, dear friends, is what we call clean. It's not just clean, it's OxyClean. Somewhere between where you are and where you're going, there's a Super 8. I think we're right about here. See you along the way. Survey says there's more feud on the way. Ray Combs hosts Family Feud next. Then take a trip to the winner's circle on the $100,000 pyramid, followed by Match Game. Todd, the story of the man who lives by a toaster and doesn't own a jacket will continue on our next Family Feud. Dale! Love ya. See you. Some department contestants. When are you going to be done with that quarterly sales report? When I'm done? Who's gonna replace the toner? Not me. So, when are you and Denise going out again? Never. You'll be buzzing all week from Game Show Network's Sunday Night Buzz. First is Lingo, then Chuck Woolery Naturally Stone, GSN's first reality show. Then comics go joke to joke on National Lampoon's Funny Money, plus special episodes of Celebrity Cram. Catch a buzz that'll last all week. Sunday Night Buzz beginning June 15th at 9 Eastern only on Game Show Network. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson television production. Southern California Trojans, Jennifer Fitzgerald, Sally DiMaggio, Sean Kilofsky, Nicole Flyers.